WTFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, this is Larry Pesavento giving you a little end of the day break, uh, breakdown of what's going to happen. And uh, right now, we're setting three of the four stock indices are down. The S&P is down, the Dow is down, NASDAQ is up, and the Russell is down. So we have, as, by, uh, as Mr. Basil Chapman would say, a bifurcated market. The real news today, folks, or is in the Treasury notes and Treasury bonds. Extremely strong. Everybody wants them. Three weeks ago, you couldn't give them away. Even with a new Lexus, you couldn't give them away. Now everybody wants them. Not only that, we've finally gotten this breakout in gold that we've been waiting for. We've gone this week, we've gone from 1725 all the way up to 1819 almost $100 an ounce in a matter of a couple of days. We've got crude oil has rallied $10 a barrel over the last couple of days now, trading at 8121 And another big surprise has been the collapse of the U.S. dollar. The U.S. dollar has broken down badly. And what this means is that we've got strong markets in the euro, the British pound, the Japanese yen, the Canadian dollar, and the Australian dollar, all very strong, along with the Swiss franc. Of course, the Swiss franc is being boosted by strong prices uh, in both gold and silver. And speaking of silver, folks, just a few weeks ago, when it was making its 382 retracement, uh, we're now up well over $3 an ounce in silver, folks. I mean, just unbelievable move that we've had here uh, in silver and then also in gold. We've even got copper back to 380, folks. I mean, this is a huge run in copper. So, you know, the substantial assets are moving from uh, maybe from stocks. Uh, but they're moving into bonds. They're, you know, you couldn't give bonds away three weeks ago, and now everybody wants them. We're going to find out what that really means. The agricultural markets are all very quiet, nothing really happening. So everything is going on in the financials. And we believe here at TFNN, from our fearless leader, King Dollar, who said the bottom of the dollar way back uh, in 2011, he picked the exact week. And he gave it the monitor of King Dollar, and that's what's been happening. Now, we're in that big correction now in the U.S. dollar. But the fact is that it might not last very long. We don't know. That's why we follow these things daily here at TFNN. And we'll see you all tomorrow, folks. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. <laughs>